This is Boots, Wild Rose 911. I've decided to take a break from my long day working on Crown Victorias, and I'm gonna introduce Seton, the main man, and he's gonna teach you how to replace and clean your bed. So, Seton. Thank you, Moose. <laughs> hey, folks. Important thing with your car, sometimes your batteries go bad and they always go bad at the worst possible times. It's never convenient, it's never organised, so it's handy to know how to change out a battery. So uh, basically what you, what you need is you need uh, a handful of tools, a 10mm, an 8mm and a crescent wrench. And uh, what we're lo looking at doing is removing this, this bracket which holds the battery down. But the first thing I always like to do first is to make sure that you disconnect the battery so if you drop a tool across a terminal or something, you're not going to give yourself a fright and a big spark and harm your electrical system. So the uh, terminals are normally 10 or 8 millimeter. This is a, a 10 millimeter, so let's just loosen this off and remove that. Now once that's off the car, you can't damage yourself or, or the car, basically. That, that protects you against shorting anything out. And of course, like what quite often happens, a terminal's been changed out so it's a different size. So this is, this is half inch, but uh, normally a uh, crescent span is normally the best way to go because it, it, it fits, fits all sizes, one size fits all, so you take that off there. You take your uh, bracket off, which I've already, already loosened off. Bracket out of the way, terminal out of the way. Lift your battery out. And uh, th this particular vehicle's battery isn't bad, so we'll, we'll just make out that we, we put another battery in it. So you take, take your battery, put it back in the car again. I always like to put the positive terminal on last, and the reason for that is uh, that you don't short anything out. It's very easy to drop something across those terminals or short those terminals out and you don't want that. So we of course put our negative battery terminal on, put our battery holding cable on here, put your bracket on there, And you tighten all of that, that down, tighten that terminal down, then the last one you would put on would be this terminal here, which is your, which is your positive terminal. And then that way you know that you can't short, short anything out or cause a problem at all. And tighten up this other terminal here. Now what I'll do is I'll get Eric to start the car and uh, because we're in a shop, we have the benefit of having a meter which we can check the battery voltage. Start her up, Eric. Okay. And here's, here's a meter that checks battery voltage here. Uh, this will tell you how much power your alternator is putting out just to confirm that uh, your charging system is working fine even though you've, you've changed your battery out. So you put, put the red on the positive, the black on the negative, and if you have a, have a look here, we're charging a little over 14 volts, which means the charging system's working fine. If you were around anything under 12 and a half volts, means you have a defective alternator. So it always pays to check that to make sure that you've replaced the right component because sometimes an alternator will go bad, not often, it's more likely to be a battery, 
but this way you can confirm and make sure that you fixed the problem right the first time. So uh, check out our YouTube channel. Can you turn it off, Eric? It's uh, Wild Rose 911. We have a lot of helpful tips there and are trying to teach young people and people that aren't very car savvy how to do basic maintenance to save themselves a lot of money and to save themselves from being stuck somewhere. Thank you. Have a nice day.